Over the course of thousands of installations, Raw Devices discovered that the initial factory pressure set point of 118 pounds is effective for the vast majority of applications and rarely requires any field adjustments to improve overall system performance. However, this does not mean that a 118 pound set point is perfect for your specific application. If you discover the system is not operating as intended, those repairs must be made before any APR control adjustment. The ideal adjustment on any APR control is to strive for the most modulation of the APR control before termination of that compressor. Adjusting the set point of the APR control can optimize the performance of any DX system, maximizing the benefits of installing the APR control. In this application, a constant volume rooftop unit, we chose to raise the set point. Increasing the APR control suction pressure set point will allow us to gain a longer runtime for better dehumidification than what the rooftop unit alone can provide. Although it may seem counterintuitive that a higher coil temperature can provide better dehumidification, it has been proven that sacrificing a little in coil temperature to gain runtime is extremely effective for dehumidification. We are going to raise the set point to 125 pounds to gain enhanced dehumidification for that space. In other applications, such as makeup air, dedicated outdoor air systems, or VAV, a lower set point might be desired to gain the maximum capacity before causing any operational issues, such as system icing, low discharge air temperature, or anything else that uh, too much capacity may cause. If you've determined that the application needs adjustment, let's go over how to adjust the APR control. In order to adjust the APR control with accuracy, the running suction pressure with the APR closed off and isolated must be below our factory set point. If the system's suction pressure is above the desired set point in which the APR control should be active, the APR control will not provide any modulation. In other words, there'll be no refrigerant flowing to the APR control, and any set point adjustments cannot be verified by your gauges. We must manipulate the system so the suction pressure with the ball valves closed is below the desired set point of the APR control. There are many ways to lower the system's suction pressure, like lowering the fan speed. If it's cool enough outside, opening up the economizer. Um, if it's a rooftop unit, taking off the panel for the blower door. Uh, any way you can think of that can lower that suction pressure without having a unit malfunction. The way we're gonna show you in this video is simply by blocking off the filter rack in the return with some cardboard. By blocking off the return air, we are reducing the amount of total heat content that enters the evaporator coil. With less total heat content entering the evaporator and the APR control closed or isolated by the ball valves, this will force the suction pressure to be lower. We only have to lower the suction pressure enough to activate the APR control. For example, if we want to raise the suction pressure set point of the APR control to about 125 pounds, then we would only have to lower our suction pressure up to about 115. That way, when we open up the APR's ball valves and allow the APR control to be active, we know that it's the APR control manipulating the suction pressure and not system operation, and not the total heat content entering the evaporator coil. Now, if we see that our suction pressure set point needs to be either raised or lowered, then we can start adjusting the APR control and have confidence that our set point will be correct. Each APR control can be different, but all compression ratio reduction valves, or CRR valves, are adjustable. Before we start adjusting anything, we want to emphasize to never touch the liquid injection valve. These are set from the factory to provide about 20 degrees of superheat at the compressor. If you think you need to adjust a liquid injection valve, please call us. They're impossible to adjust correctly without factory help. Now let's adjust the compression ratio reduction valve on our APR 410-2. It will be the valve labeled with the red sticker that says discharge line. The APR 410-3 and the APR 410-1 have similar adjustment screws 
on their compression ratio reduction valve. The adjustment varies with each individual APR control. However, all APR controls are adjustable. This particular model APR control, the APR 410-2, has a 530 seconds Allen key for the cap, as well as the adjustment screw located about halfway down the stem. On this unit, I want to raise the APR control suction pressure to maintain about 125 pounds to gain maximum modulation of the APR control before compressor termination via the space thermostat. This APR control has an adjustment of five pounds per one full turn. Turning it counterclockwise will increase the pressure set point. Turning it clockwise will decrease the pressure set point on this particular APR control. Before you walk away, make sure you put all the caps back on, the ball valves in the open position, and undo any measures that you've taken to lower the system's suction pressure. At this point, we've finished adjusting the APR control. Let's put this unit back into service.